You see, another one has dropped on social media. Everywhere is on fire right now. You see, Judy never ever wanted to be a second wife. Second wife is when the first wife is still there. She knows that May will never stay in that marriage. And since she has done all that could be done, hoping that Mr. Yule will send her packing, but did not. Well, she had to do the needful. Now, there is this thing about DNA that has been viral and it is trending. DNA, DNA, who owns that child? Is that child Yule Edoche's own or the husband of Judy, Mr. Obasi? Well, as it stands right now, the test that was done secretly is now out there in open. It is out there in open for everybody to see, everyone to see. Now, people are saying, you see, I mean, men that have experienced this before, they say, maybe some other things might not be able to bring a man down, but a woman can bring a man down. You see, hmm, when a woman targets a man, I'm talking of a correct, when I say correct, I didn't say correct in her mind. I mean a correct looking woman a woman that passed the benchmark when they want to get a man they will go all the way to make sure that they get that woman that man either physically spiritually emotionally whatever way they don't mind to rubbish themselves on the floor they don't mind to cry from beginning to the end from morning till night until you as a man give them that five minutes of your life that could end up to become like you, Edoche's situation right now. This is what it is. It is not uh, a joke. Now, there are some other people who probably cannot get themselves entangled in this. A woman cannot get them. Maybe their own is uh, money. Uh, well, with money, women will always be around you too. At the end of the day, it is still money. Women, money, women. So, there are still some men, probably they might say... Well, it is not possible in my own situation. Women are not the beginning and the end of my life. I do not think a woman can bring me down. Well, you might be strong as a person, disciplined enough not to fall into this. Or maybe you might say, I wasn't thinking. I did not know. I thought this person is not like those type of women. But at the end of the day, what brought you down? A woman. We are not trying to say that women can bring all men down but i'm just saying that the effect of a woman in the life of a man is huge to a point whereby a woman can trap a man bring the man down we live in a world where a man cannot come out to say i was raped but a woman even when she's not even if she tried to set the man up can come out to say i was raped and people will look at it like it could be true that's because a lot of people believe that women are soft they are not strong. They are the weaker vessel. But the truth of the matter is that there are women who are stronger than men, both physically, intellectually, and spiritually. What are we saying here? Anyway, it is not news. It is not news that a lot of things have happened in the family and home of the Edoches. Um, back and front, bars goes here and there, you know, has been happening for a very long time. And um, this started first from the, um, you know, second wife, first wife thing. Nobody knew that it was going to get to this point. Eventually, it got to this point that we are in. So, finally, Judy and Mr. Yul had to go to where they need to go to. So, as to swab and take samples for the DNA test. Now... Judy believes so much in this is going to work. This is going to really work. And she said, okay, you know what? Let's go in and let's do this thing. And, you know, they eventually went there and the shocker dropped. You, of course, he was suspecting this because it's been on social media already that the child does not belong to him and that the child belongs to another man. And you know what Peter Edoche said? You'll be shocked. But before then, like and share this video. Like and share it. Subscribe to this channel, it's very important.
Well, Pet Edoche opened his mouth. Bagam. Give him like, when you give what? Say, give him names. Say, seriously, say, traditionally, he said that he traditionally said that he said whether they go do DNA, 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 not that he's smart in a very good way. He quickly took off pictures and all of this should in should that result finally drop. He will not begin to start. He wanted to remove it before the final final happens. And now what we heard from some very close friends of you, you know, they said that what Judy did was to take a bet with someone. And I bet is that you see this man, I'm going to get him. We will be together. And she went all the way. She did all she could to make sure that both of them hook up together, end up in their adulterous relationship. And finally, they made it public. And when she brought this, you know, this fake pregnancy, eventually, she said, you know, man, you have to do the needful. You are a man from Anambra State. You people know culture. We are Igbos. We have to. Edoches must meet the Mogalus family. You must come to see my people. If not, this child, I will have to name him our own name, Mogalu. That is just what the family has said. Are you not a man? Be man enough. Come. Come. Nobody is biting you. But you know how women do these things. And if you've been around the streets a bit and you know how things work, you know that a woman can bring pregnancy that does not belong to you and they drop it right on your chest you will be so unfortunate in life if you now look at that child and you think that child looks like you maybe oh he has our hair he has our skin he has our this you are fooling yourself the only solution to this is dna science has made it easier and not just dna tests but from a reliable source from a laboratory that will not be bought from a laboratory that will not be paid in fact it is always best to carry out that kind of test twice if you can afford it independent and the place that the woman or whoever wants you to go it is always better for you to carry out the test at least clear yourself from it is this my child or not this is just to ascertain to make sure 100 percent that you are not taking care of someone else's child Hoping that it's yours. We've seen several countless stories, stories that touch the heart of women bringing children, not one, children of someone else, their ex-boyfriend, the one they met on the street. They, they just bring all of those children, bring it into their house and they claim that this child belongs to their husband. That's happened to popular people, popular people all over that's happened if you are so stupid and foolish it's not a crime oh you don't even need to tell your wife you don't need to tell your wife if you realize that it seems things are in a certain way it seems things are too calm just for your own conscience maybe not to hurt your wife if eventually all those children are your own just take a swab from yourself and all of those children take it to a dna laboratory and make sure that all of those children are your own you have to do this periodically not once once you have done it and you realize that all of the children are your own, then you relax because you are not having another one. It is very important that these things are done. This is an eye-opener. This is not just a story to trend. This is now a lesson to all men. All men. DNA is important. You have one, two, three, four. You don't need to tell the woman now. Just take a sample. Take a swap. Go to the laboratory. I need a DNA test. What do I need to do? Oh, can you give me the, the, the tool, the, the, the kit, the, the DNA kit, the sample kit to take the swab, the swab kit? They give you everything and tell you the process. Secretly, quietly, just take a swab of yourself, give to them, and take the swab of your children. Name it. Put names as you take each swab. Joking like play play. You, you don't wash your teeth. These things I'm saying is common sense. So just take a swab and take it down to the laboratory to make sure that all those children are your own. You might be a man listening to this now. Open your ears. Start checking. Don't need to tell the woman you are sleeping all around. Not because men 
like you do not exist. But I'm saying that at the end of the day, ascertain and make sure that those children are your own. And also men that have children with women and you refuse to take care of those children. You care less. Once you get the lady pregnant, you run away. You know that this one are your children. Go and do DNA. If there are confusion about it, do DNA and take care of those children. If not, you will suffer. Out. You have to be responsible to be in their life. Even if you have issues with their mother, be in their life. Look at what has happened to you. I'm very sure that during those years where when he was gallivanting, he was never in the life of that child. Now that child, they say he had that attack. He slumped. He died. The thing just happened like that. Come on, man. This is serious. We have to learn from this. So you, Edoche, wanted to gallivant as a man. But unfortunately, he fell into a trap that has made his life so much ridiculous, upside down. Look at it. Judy said, I want this guy. And yes, she got him. And I'm not sure that this DNA, as it is right now, is going to put an end to them. But then, this is a very big shocker. Let us see what they are going to do next. Keep you guys updated. Do not forget to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new here.